Hey, what's up, Gemini? We're going to get into your read here for end of July into August. Let's see what messages are coming in for you guys. What messages are coming in here for Gemini? Starting off this reading here with the Ten of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. I see the Ace of Pentacles coming in. Two more cards here. The Queen of Cups, also Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Man, you guys have really good energies for you, Gemini. What is the overall? The Knight of Cups wanted to come out. What is the overall here for you? We have the King of Cups. So we have potential new connection here for you in the future. You know, um, we have a king and a queen. We have a pair. You know, we have it's water energy. So there's emotions here. Also, these two people are very intuitive. Okay. Um, I do see some sort of new opportunity that is coming in for you, or you could be working on some sort of new opportunity here, Gemini. Let me see this Ten of Cups here. We have the Queen of Swords, your energy here. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Gemini? What is this Ace of Pentacles? The Page of Cups here. So it can be this new idea. Okay, so what I'm picking up here with the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Cups here, I do feel like there's a sense of focusing on what you really want with that Ten of Cups. Now, it doesn't mean you have to be with anyone to have a Ten of Cups. It's just a sense of your own definition of success in a way, right? Your, your own definition of happiness, right? I feel like you have, you're coming into this reading with having that sense of clarity of what you want. Now, the Page of Cups here is, you know, it's also, you know, it's part of like, you know, someone offering you something, you know, in tarot and stuff like that. But what I'm picking up here with the Page of Cups, this could be a card of, um, using your intuition this could be a start to some sort of new creative idea that you have and it leads to this ace of pentacles energy so there's this new opportunity i feel like a lot of you guys have been working on or can be soon working on something here and it it can lead to something here for you um queen of cups here in the near future let's take a look at this this also might be your energy too the four of wands so there is this potential new connection also coming into the picture here again wanting this ten of cups energy having this new beginning in regards to some sort of new opportunity for you queen of cups with the four of wands you see two people here coming together this can be some sort of commitment a new energy coming in to work with you and even if it's not nothing to do with this ace of pentacles energy i feel like you just have a new connection coming in for you i mean it's simple i mean it's not that um there's not that it's not that deep here it just feels very new okay um i do see the nine of cups underneath here as well so a lot of happiness coming in for you gemini uh, let me see the king of cups energy the three of swords here with the king of cups now king of cups here you know we do have someone here that um could be going through a sense of healing and disappointment on something now if this was your energy gemini because i'm going to read it this way too if the king of cups is your energy you're still in this intuitive trying or in in a way of making decisions not only with your head but with your heart but you also have this three of swords energy so there's a sense of healing from something here um and you could be taking some time to um to do that i see the three of wands so there might be a sense of maybe you've been waiting for something this message might be not be for everyone here on this one but i'm picking up like you're waiting for you've been waiting for something to come towards you you're not seeing that happen so there's a sense of disappointment and heartbreak here but the three of wands underneath says i'm choosing a different path you know what i mean um let me get one more card on that here for you gemini the chariot cancer energy here i feel like this king of cups I feel like this King of Cups energy, you're kind of sitting in this one. I don't feel like this is someone that you're dealing with. I feel like you are healing from something. The Chariot, Cancer energy here is moving towards, again, making that choice, moving towards success, moving towards what you really want here. So this Three of Swords can be more of healing for you, okay? So you could be going through that as this is happening at the same time. Um, let me see this Ten of Cups with the Queen of Swords here for you. We have judgment again making that decision so that confirms it let me see the ace of pentacles with the page of cups here what is this ace of pentacles with the page of cups the hierophant the high priest here again just you're using your intuition there is some sort of new idea man that is there you're moving towards it i don't know if you're working like i said if you're working on something right now and you feel like this is you know 
will it go somewhere? Heck yeah, it's going to go somewhere. You just, I mean, it is going to take time and energy, right? But it's going to go somewhere. Higher font too, it's like this energy of, you know, maybe you've been through a lot here, Gemini. You know, you've been through something here where you can teach others in a way. So, you know, if you've been through a, um, you know, some sort of situation in life where, you know, you've learned from something and I feel like you're being called also with that page of cups, ace of pentacles, maybe there is something here that you can help and teach other people. So there's something about you learning something and helping someone else at the same time. Okay. Um, let me see this queen of cups with the four of wands here. Definitely a new connection here for you. We have the fool, right? So there's some sort of new beginning in regards to a connection. Now, if you guys are currently talking to somebody, maybe this is just a level up with this connection, but it feels very new. It doesn't feel like a, um, you know, a, someone from the past or anything like that. It feels a very new connection. Nine of cups at the bottom, Pisces energy, a lot of happiness, a lot of movement forward here. All right. So anything else coming in for Gemini? I don't see if you have Leo um in your chart you may want to check that too because you know that leo reading there was a little bit of obstacles and challenges and you know when i throw a reading out there you know it's, it's, it maybe might be something to help you if you do feel like things are blocked with this ace of pentacles and the page of cups and i don't know why intuitively i feel like saying this to you but you know if you feel like you're just trying to find this energy that reading could help you out if you guys have time to take a look at it but i do feel with the higher font ace of pentacles and the page of cups this is some sort of using your intuition creating something new that you put your time and energy into with that ace again a new beginning to something making that decision a new connection here anything else for and at least a success chariot energy here so your energy is definitely moving towards getting what you want okay but there is like i said in your reading you have that three of swords sitting over here so i can't really say Everything is like, uh, you know, rainbows and unicorns. I do feel like you are having this deep healing within yourself with that three of swords, a past hurt. Um, you know, again, this could lead to negative thinking sometimes in situations. So not every day is going to be great, you know. Um, I remember at one time I said in one of my videos, I remember this long time ago, one of my managers told me, he's like, there's 365 days in a year. And, you know, not every day is going to be great, but our goal is to have more good days than bad days. You know that? And that's kind of what I'm picking up here in your reading. Anything else coming in for Gemini? Anything else coming in for Gemini? The five of swords here. Let me get one more card. And the eight of swords. And then you have the ten of swords underneath here. So I feel like that healing that we're talking about with that three of swords, you know, you have this sense of defense, that five of swords energy. Um, even though, like I said, look at the surface energy here. Everything's looking good. We're moving forward here. But Eight of Swords, the Five of Swords, we have this feeling of closing something out. We're feeling we're protecting our heart into something, right? So, because you have this future energy of a new connection. And I feel like it, it needs to be, um, or, it need, you know, you need to kind of see this as being like, you know, giving some sort of chance in some way. If you want, you have free will, do what you want to do. But I do feel like the Eight of Swords, the five, uh, five of Swords here, it's a mental, and especially with the Ten of Swords, something here mentally could be feeling like, you know, I want to start this new thing or I want to start this new connection, whatever it is. And then you kind of back out of it. You know, it, it can lead you from not making a decision. So maybe your heart, you know, again, Queen of Cups, King of Cups energy, maybe emotions are there. Maybe that Page of Cups, that creativity, you really love to do something. You really want to move forward with it. You made some sort of decision to choose this Ten of Cups for yourself here. But because there's this healing, you know, I feel like, so, you know, and again, message may not be for everyone here, but I do feel like there is some sort of message in regards to you could overthink. You could be worried that maybe something won't work out or maybe something from the past doesn't, you know, keeps creeping back up. Um, this is about opening up your heart chakra a little bit here because I feel like the energy, if you're able to open yourself up to love in general because love does bring abundance right and abundance you know money comes in after that as well so there's a sense of needing to open up to these new possibilities these new this new path this new new opportunity right um and and feel good about it you know um but don't let the past don't let something here that you're thinking about hold you back eight of swords energy okay so it's, it's saying that it's time to release because the 10 is um, and a new beginning. It's time to let go of some sort of past betrayal, past hurt here, um, because this, whatever this new beginning is, it's like you don't want to drag it in with this 
or with you, okay? So that's any sort of advice I can give you, Gemini. But other than that, I mean, I feel like your energy is very good. Meeting that new person here with the full card and the Queen of Cups. I mean, this is really nice energy to kind of um, move into um, August energy with, okay? Now also, you know, like we have that Cancer New Moon around the corner. We also have... Um, you know, into August here, it's going to be a lot of energies of taking action. So I don't want anyone to listen to this and say, you know, you just have to sit and wait for something to happen. I feel like this is someone here that is actually taking action. I say this in your readings a lot lately because I feel like sometimes I've been doing this for a few years, you know, tarot readings and stuff. And I spoke to a lot of people and, you know, my, you know, the response I get sometimes is I've been waiting for something to happen. I've been waiting for this to happen, but it hasn't happened. And the key word is waiting, because if you wait, if you continue to wait for good things to happen, mo most of the time it will take a long time for it to happen or may not happen at all. But when you take the initiative to make changes in your life here, you start to see results. And I feel like this is an energy here that you're taking advantage in a good way. You're, you're, you're saying, hey, this, this, this feels good, this idea. I feel like I want to be able to you know, try this new connection, talk to someone new. It's that shift in energy that you're doing that brings some sort of success. Things start moving forward here um, is what I'm getting. So whoever needs to hear that part. But that's what I get for you, Gemini. Um, if it helps in any way, please do hit that like button. I'll be coming out with some more readings here for you guys. And um, until next time, we'll see you. Guys, have a good one.